Okay, so I'm gonna just look really quick. I know this is about the Banshees, and Liara's gonna freak out, but... Yeah, I'm just worried that they'll be immune to my biotic... my biotic powers, so... Yeah... But we get to see Samara. Whoa, my roster looks pretty big. And it is my first time having all seven, so... Yeah, I'm not used to seeing them as not used to them seeing them right what am I saying? I'm not used to it seeing all of them at the same time. They're smaller obviously. Let's see what she has. So that's her new one. That has weapon damage. Power damage. Oops. Recharge speed. I guess I use recharge speed when I eventually use her. Alright. I think I'm good, right? What does this mean by new? This is not new. Unless we're talking about... So, uh, whatever. I should have restarted my video, but... We're gonna do it anyway. Dig up any information on the mission, Lear? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free. And why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Shuttle's warm, recently used. So I remember this was one of those are you serious moments when I found out they were turning uh, what they call Asari's into Banshees. Pretty um elevator disabled extreme I guess. to prevent entry or escape, I wonder. That sound yeah, the flashlights. I hear something. All right, Stay sharp. I think it's on the other side. I like to double check. I heard something. That was my fault. Sorry. Okay. Ooh, that was good. Intel. So yeah, this reveal. I think this is it. No, this is so sorry. I saw. It's not a banshee. It would seem the Asari commandos fell silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Nothing on 
to the side. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Hey, Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. On my Renegade playthrough, where I tried to kill everybody except my main character, Samari was one of those that actually survived, so... I never got to play this mission where she wasn't present, so... You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. Alright. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. Too late, Shepard. You gotta say that quickly. Alright, so... Is that the right way? My name is Tashia Pori. An isolated fortress. The Ardat Yokshi must have believed they were sick. Man, I don't really like that gun anymore. It from the war. If they knew about it at all, they learned. You got the bullets? You didn't get the bullets yet. Alright, cool. Bye bye. So, yeah, this is one of the first missions. Not first, but like. One of the few missions that I was worried about when I, was, when I started my insanity run, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. A new enemy. What's that? Anything much? Oh, that's not good. Duck, please, duck. Yeah, dude, this is gonna be a pain if I had like two at the same time. Alright, that worked. Now then, this is the part that annoys me because all the reapers kind of have, they come out in waves out of that tunnel. So kill that guy, kill that guy. Reapers done. Exactly. It is a little unsettling. Oh. 
Mother, you came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Asari thought the Ardat Yachi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Jasra, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tell you supplies. Please bring me in. Those things so bad. They always, they're always at located at some place where they're hard to reach. But now you know what I'm saying. Um, what's over here? I think it's just a safe wall with money. Yeah, and. This is definitely the hardest mini boss so far. Alright, not people gonna touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Damn it. Oh my god. This 
Dark can't even do anything? Come on. I didn't do shit. Oh, but you gotta get out of my face. Alright, Shockwave's probably not the best choice of action. Um, we'll kill everybody first. Somebody died? Who died? They are died. We'll save her after I kill everybody. He did, he got slammed. I'm trying to kill these people as fast as I can. Not that they're both dead. Absorbed all that power. Okay, right, cool. And I have eight mana gels per save. Uh, all right, I'll take it. So far, and yeah, she just took more damage than most other mini bosses. And they fly everywhere. She's dead. Another dead commando. The Asari should have rid themselves of the Adad Yokshi. By rid themselves, you mean kill. My people would never let such monsters walk among them. They didn't care for the competition. <laughs> Okay, this is the battle heart. And I got no heavy heavy weapons, so I gotta use all my power firepower. So yeah, this is like I feel like it's gonna be the hardest one. Yep, yep, yep. Oh man. Should I scan the room? I don't think there's anything here to loot. Oh, there's medical supplies there. We've found In our case bomb. I need them. And I have, Falaire. I have enough. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Hey, what's that plan? Rila cannot hear us. I'm gonna try to Look, energy drain him, but... Still alive. I hope... I know, but I am afraid, Rila. I hope the R.I. and Javis can not bomb. one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Wake up, wake up. Okay, let's do this. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? It's crazy. This part made me a little bit sad. I can feel like she's being possessed, but there's nothing you can do about it. <gasps> so scary right here. Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. It reminds me a bit about The Walking Dead. Can we set off that bomb? We need a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Two at the same Where? time? Come on. Alright. Can you bomb them? Can you bomb them? I hope this bomb works. They actually did some damage. Okay. I already use you, so I hope they do something. Okay, well, it actually worked. Okay, um. Bomb one, please. That almost has a barrier? Okay. Let's work on one. They 
Alright, you gotta move the fuck out. I hope that she can use some power her power her. She can't. Okay, um. She's dead. She's definitely dead. Oh shit. Back the fuck up. No, 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 no. Alright, um. Alright, she did. 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 Alright, um. No, 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 I can't take it, I can't take it. Gotta be careful, dude. I have no idea how strong that is. She hit me again. No, no, no. Yeah, she's dead. Okay. Fuck. For now, let's get back to that bomb. for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go. Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! It sucks, but... What else can you do? She's possessed. Slaves. even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die Rila made her choice and it has reminded me of what is truly important why I swore I'd lay down my life what is that Valer, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughter. This is insane, right? You were all so much. <laughs> What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. 
home, no matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait, now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. Follow the smoke? He's mocking the situation. Commander, I'm pleased to hear the Ardot Yakshi situation has been put to rest. Should I guess you're our contact inside Asari High Command, Counselor? I'm merely here to convey the gratitude of the Asari people for concluding a difficult, sensitive mission. The next team of commandos we were sending to the monastery are now en route to Admiral Hackett instead. Farewell, Commander. Oh, might as well talk to Tally. That's not Tally. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ship's captains still have power, in peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrickson. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. 
It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Taddy. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. That made me sad, because I thought for sure she was going to come as the permanent. So when she said that, I was like... I thought, yeah, I was bummed out, but... We'll know later on that she's a permanent So what about member. Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Hell yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna do that now. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah. I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. I need Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. What for? I've already touched her. Heading for the front lines. Sit it on me, I already talked to Jacob. What the fuck? Alright, um... Probably old messages. Let me double check my whole crew to see if they have anything new to say. I always love the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly... Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That this thing handles like a drunk rhino. Person. No agility whatsoever. I hate the Mako. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. Right. It only climbs because of its stupid... The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I saw. I. I know I answered that conversation, but I heard it so many times. Um. Yeah. Let's see what Diana has to say. And Javix probably has something to say too. So, are you doing a story on the Asari, who were turned into Reaper creatures? The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job? You won't. Huh. Second Star Broadcasting is headhunting me. I liked their Garvuk story, but seriously, I'm on the Normandy.
He's not even here. What the fuck? Dobby, what do you think about our new yeoman, Miss Trainer? She's not a yeoman, she's a communication specialist. And you're barking up the wrong tree, Kenneth. You're not her type. Oh. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. <laughs> it works out. Be sure to take video. Is that conversation new? My board is green. Shepard. Yeah, I don't remember that conversation at all. Nothing to report, Commander. I know they said that they accidentally blocked some kind of dialogue between them, but they fixed it during the ascent the cut, but I never went to go, you know, experience that conversation, so I don't know if that was the new one or not. Seems like they're flirting a bit. So is Javix here? Javix in the lounge. Ooh, the lounge. Ashley's still here. Hey, Commander. Talk to you me. You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That is not a side of these sorry I ever want to see. Shepard? When did she get drunk? I know, I want her to get drunk and shit. Nobody's here, right? Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Okay, that was new to me. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara is the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. Dang, can you imagine that? Drells or Hanars? Or Vorchas? Man. Another time. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Who's the human? That guy right there? Commander. Okay. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think what? about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. Eliminates any local resistance. And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Commander. Alright, that was good. The R, I think you have intel for me. Oh, maybe I should do that now. Scan this stuff. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, shit. Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll Near be all. Inside their cities. 
Alright, um... Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the moment. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Damn, I clicked too early. Alright, whatever. I, I, I probably, Greetings, I probably, Commander. I probably heard it already. Alright, Chocolate, you're standing up, it seems. What does she want? Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year. Yes. And it's my turn to buy. Yes. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism. And I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. That should be it. Except for Joker and Edie. Oh wait, I gotta go- do I have to go back to my cabin? I do. Who's here? Tally. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. And that probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. And Joker and Edie, of course. Trainer, got something to say? The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? <laughs> what is under there? Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comb buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. I felt like I almost got stuck there. Alright, that's pretty much it. What am I doing next? If there's any side missions, I'll do that first. 
not, we'll fight the gap. Or do I want to do the scan shit? Now we'll do the scanning later. Well, I'll I'll do the scanning before Desia. Where's the dashboard? Okay. Signal confirmed. I don't know what's here. Intel, whoa, we got that's that's actually a good one. side missions? Nope. Alright. So this is the end of this video. We're gonna kill some Geth next. And nobody's here, so we can just do this all day. Alright. Till next video.